Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick show. We're uh, doing more of our Post America artwork, and um, it's going pretty well so far. I I don't want to really get it to like ultra finished state right now because we might want to kind of like standardize all of them at the end. So there's no point like perfectly finishing this one now. Um, yeah, because there's going to be more than one, but. Uh, I think we're getting pretty close to where where I think we can kind of like leave it off for a future uh, revision. What we have here is a picture of Achilles fighting Penthesilea, which is the uh, chapter that we narrated recently on stream. And um, Penthesilea is on her horse. Achilles and Penthesilea both have spears trained at each other. I'm pretty happy with it so far. So we're gonna we're gonna move on. I still can't get the hang of the way that this thing rotates on the iPad. I might be using, you know, I think I, I think I see what the problem is. Okay, so I want to take this, not that. No, I want to put this here, and then this here. There we go. Yeah, that's the way I like to use Photoshop. Okay. So I'm using an iPad app that like mirrors your PC screen, so it essentially turns the iPad into a uh, into a um, tablet, like a drawing tablet. But I'm not completely proficient with it yet, so. We also want to make sure this saves every once in a while. Let's actually see if we can set the autosave preferences on here. Is there autosave on Photoshop? Maybe not. History log. Save log items. File handling? No. Scratch disks? No. Maybe there is no, I, I can't really remember ever having an autosave in Photoshop, so we'll just have to remember to do it every once in a while. Automate? No. So let's actually, um, let's kind of take stock of what layers we have. This is what the hair. White fill, black fill. I don't think we're going to make the hair black either. I think that we want to have Penthesilea's stuff. If it does have any dark areas, it's going to be like um, not black. It's going to be some other dark shade. And it looks like we still have our stuff here. The eraser we want to change back. I don't know how to get it to save when I switch presets. Let's see if I can say work saves, new workspace. No, there's no way to get it to save the uh, pencil, uh, the pen and eraser settings that you have, unfortunately. Okay. I was thinking maybe I would want to add some uh, kind of like horse armor to uh, Penthesilea's horse as well, since she is using it in battle. So we might try and do something like that. sure what I'm doing with this part.
there's this weird perspective thing with these pieces of Greek pottery where both uh, legs reach the same spot even if they wouldn't kind of in real perspective so let's try and match that it basically means that the back leg by the rules of perspective is actually a lot longer than the front leg but I think we should try and honor the tradition it feels so wrong to do it though So what do we got here? We can fill in part of this, and then at least everything is filled in to some extent. It's not exactly filled in very well, um, but we'll worry about that later. Oh, and I'm still using the... For my other work, I use typically use the, uh, the other lasso. because when you use a mouse, it's kind of a waste to use the actual lasso tool. See, I'm not that comfortable with like the turning of the iPad and like my hand is a little shaky like I'm not very confident with a pen tool yet or with the Apple pencil and digital art in general but I'm getting there Yeah, this doesn't have to be exactly right because we can erase and add things afterwards. We just kind of want it to be in a good spot. Also, if some of this stuff goes out of the lines, it kind of upholds the idea that, you know, it's not like they had the paint bucket tool when they made the Greek pottery in, you know, 800 BC. So it, it sort of at least makes it feel a little bit more handmade. And then, yeah, if we want to, we can always erase some stuff. we got here yeah some of this is pretty loose I was really just trying to see the the general feel of it with color So now I think we can remove the out, oops, remove the, where do we got it, 
outline. Yeah. Looks pretty good so far. There's kind of a um, sort of like a charm in the messiness of the outline being there, but I, I don't want that. I want it to be clean. Yep. What am I missing here? Oh, it's around her body that a lot of this stuff seems weird because I hadn't really defined what she would look like at the time. I think it's this area. Yeah, like the leg is too small, I think. Let's try and match the foundation a little bit better. Let's do it on another layer. So this is going to be our new layer for the outline. So we're going to make it like this. Yeah, I think that's good. Basically, her whole leg is just too small. I don't know that it really... There's kind of like that bulkiness of Achilles' leg. And let's see what happens if we just... Oops, that's the wrong color. Does that feel correct? So it's this or this. Yeah, I think that's better. And then we can make her lower leg bigger. Oh crap, it's not separate from the horse. OK, hold on. I suppose if we're doing this, we might as well do both layers. layers then. I think it, yeah, it definitely needs to be bigger. Yep, okay, good. Now we just, uh, Fix that. That was her layer.
Twitter. Okay. Okay, so now we just have to fix this entire area here. Um, what's the best way to do that? We're going to merge these. Uh, actually, let's just remove this layer. That was just a test layer. And we'll remove this section. in but so that it conforms to the newly created leg better okie dokie How does this fit on this other? Where am I pulling this inspiration from? Oh, okay. Yeah, that is a pretty cool look. Okay, so what it is, is it goes like, oops. Let's zoom in on this area. So it's definitely all coming up from the top. We could give her like a little flourish here too. Oh crap, I forgot to, we gotta merge these. Good. Give her a little flourish here. That's kind of like a piece of clothing between, oops. Between the shirt and the thing. So it would go like this sort of. Yeah, it's just some kind of thing that like, because this is a piece of uh, mail here, so or like mailed shirt underneath. So it's something that probably just oh you can't see me, but it's just like padding the, so you're not you don't have like metal up against your flesh. It would probably be very uncomfortable. Good. Great. Okay, so now we have the new thing, whatever it's called. Skirt thing.
is going on with this? So it's kind of like two pieces for every piece. fix this line before we do anything. And we can let these lines separate Stop his main there. Whoa. Okay. Good. And then there's kind of like a cool um, design on this thing. I'm basing this actually on what seems to be an article of like clothing, not necessarily an article of war or, or uh, some kind of armor. But I think it'll still work. Because we want to keep in mind that the Penthesilea is meant to be kind of like um, alluring to the soldier, like it's literally a part of the chapter is that everybody's kind of like hypnotized by her, by looking at her, I mean. So we want it to have some kind of, uh, like it's not only battle armor, it's like also clothing. So here's the thing is, it goes like this and we want to track basically the The way that this works, I want to change this. We have kind of like the general shape, but yeah, we're changing it to be like that. Yeah, that's what we want. It's almost kind of like, like a webbing. It's not bending properly, so we want it to go further up. Like that. Yes, good. Um, what's going on with this one? So the way that this thing goes, it is just a line. I'm going to make it a double line. And it's essentially following the bottom of this article. And then 
up here. Yeah, it's basically like that, except less dramatic. OK, like this. Good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. OK, good. I'm going to add my own little flourishes to this, too, because we we're not just copying what, what they had, if we can come up with better ideas. So I want to add a little thing at the bottom. Nobody's protecting the ancient Greeks from uh, being inspired by their drawings, but we uh, we don't have to do exactly what they did just because we want it to look like something they you know might have made. Yeah, nobody's protecting the. Okay. Now we want to add one more. It looks like there's one thing here, which is kind of cool. That's pretty cool. The thing about this one, OK, I'm going to redo this one. We want it to have some kind of a, a general curve. So let's make one extra layer and just kind of go like this. That's it. Yep. That's exactly what it, what it has to be. OK, so that's that. And then it gives the impression of where there should be kind of like bunched up areas. So maybe like this has like some ruffles in it or something. Now that doesn't look right. Oh, right, because the ruffles would reflect on the actual thing. Right, so if we wanted to do that, we would do this. Yeah, but I don't, I don't actually want to do that. OK, so now That's a lot better. OK. Yeah, 
it is a lot better, but I, I was a little heavy handed on the lines. These lines are fine, but the other ones are too thick. Save, first of all, don't forget to save. Anytime that I'm about to uh, <laughs> rotate, I've always got to save. OK, we don't even need this outline for that part anyway. to this that'll make it more kind of interesting to look at. There's a pretty cool pattern on one of these armors that I'm looking at. Penthesilea's armor in this picture is pretty cool, but I, it's too blurry to see what the pattern really is. What am I, what's going on here? I can't move. Oh, right. I'm using shortcuts that aren't available in Photoshop. OK, this is pretty rough, the hair and all that stuff. What we want to do first, though, is figure out like the outline details. I think we can, number one, get rid of the uh, foundation part. Good. Yeah, this is a lot better. I think this might be a little, yeah, there's some stuff going on here. Achilles is pretty clean. His spear is kind of raggedy. Let's add a couple of things to Penthesilea. So, yeah, for her, the greaves don't go all the way around, so maybe we should put some kind of strap on it. For one thing, let's clean up these. Actually, what do I even need this stuff for? The properties and all that crap. I don't. Or we could put it here. Yeah, that's better use of space. OK, good. <clears throat> yeah, great. OK. So let's put some kind of, um, I'm going to make this on a new layer so I can erase the other part that I want to. smaller. Oops. Good. Um, she needs some kind of sandals. They're all wearing sandals in these pictures. I don't want her to have full on feet because Achilles doesn't really have feet. Oops, I'm still on the eraser.
Let's actually put this under the foot. This probably makes more sense. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look right when you start even indicating toes because Achilles doesn't have any toes. So let's just put like straps where they would be. Maybe she's wearing socks with sandals in ancient Greece. do something like this. Uh, welcome Feason into the show and uh, welcome Skyleaf Gaming as well. We are creating artwork for my upcoming audiobook. Season saying, uh, I want to thank you for creating the podcast about Twitch. It's really informative and helpful. I hope it'll help you make something. Good stuff. I'm glad you like it. It's got an exclamation mark hype in the chat. Anybody who doesn't know what uh, Feason's talking about, the Twitch Playbook is a free weekly podcast I created to help you guys with your Twitch channels. It's on iTunes, Spotify, all the major podcast platforms. I'm glad you like it. This wants to go like this. I like the idea of um, Penthesilea's stuff being a lot more ornate than Achilles is. Like that, um, <clears throat> his armor at this point in the canon would have been wrought by Hephaestus himself um, as a replacement for the armor that was taken by Hector from Pat Patroclus. But uh, see, I'm even saying Patroclus now from the movie. Um, but like, there's kind of like a a simplicity to it in the original Greek artwork that I think is cool. And then Penthesilea's would be kind of like more ornamental. This is kind of like, okay, what if we did, I gave her this type of a thing.
that's cool. And there's this kind of interesting thing on one of these pieces of armor that's like a, it's like, it's actually really cool. It's sort of fastened in place. We could put it around kind of this area and then indicate the shape of the body by doing so. I think that's really cool detail that they put in here. I don't understand how it works because it almost looks like it's cinching the armor a little bit. Maybe there's a, a, a piece in the armor made to do that. I don't know. Anyway, let's just uh, draw it in and worry about it later. So we can kind of follow like this. We don't want it to feel too 3D because none of this artwork really feels that, this Greek artwork really feels that 3D. Yeah, this is going like this. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. can't make a decisive mark to save my life. Okay, love that. Oh, you know what we could give her too? That this, I'm actually just stealing from this piece of Greek armor. I'm inspired by it. Let's, let's re revise that statement. Because uh, a lot of the Amazons, uh, there's that thing, which is actually a myth. Uh, well, aside from the fact that it's all a myth, uh, it's a, a a myth about the uh, the Amazons that they would like cut off their left or right breast to better use their bows. Uh, they didn't actually do that, but um, we can kind of allude to that, I guess, with this little strap thing. God, I cannot make a mark. I can make one good mark and then not a second one. Hold on, I gotta zoom out maybe to make it better. Nope. Simply cannot do it. I can't do it, I can't do it. Ready, go. Nope, go, nope. You know, put it on a new layer, go like that, then paste the exact same one, put it right next to it, and voila, it works. Modern technology, ladies and gents. Oh, I can't erase from both of these, huh?
Good. Very good. I think having something like this in there too is going to be a little too much. Yeah, it takes away from it. So we'll, we'll keep it like that. Then we'll add some details onto this. Oops, we want to merge these. Uh, is that not working? Yeah. Okay. Make something like this. Love this piece of the armor that I'm looking at too. Okay, I'm going to take a lot of these ideas. We're going to fill this. with black. I'm putting it on a different layer just in case I decide I don't want any black fills. supposed to be but I like the look of it okay um, let's make all this stuff into chain mail I guess I'm seeing a pretty cool chain mail pattern here let's fix this like these types of just like swirling indications they put onto these uh, illustrations of Greek armor, but I don't think I, I didn't get the swirl right. Let's put this on its own layer for a second. We lose this outline here. Yeah, I think that's better. OK. 
Okay. Oh, whoops, I'm destroying the wrong thing. No. Get that swirl right. How about this? That's pretty good. No, it, it's a little too small. All right, I gotta turn the iPad to do this. I can't just like leave it in one spot. Yeah, good, 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 good. Okay, done. Took me enough tries. We'll come back to it later if we have to. Uh, now, we just gotta get rid of the part that intersects with the, the straps. And we'll merge it. And let's make something on the bottom here. There's nothing on the bottom of this armor that I'm looking at, but maybe we could come up with something. Um, something like this. some kind of like pattern saying looks awesome. Thanks Azir. And welcome in. We are making our Penthesilea picture. Okay, that definitely fills in the spot, but the question is, is it too busy? Possibly a little too busy. This makes it look like it's kind of exposed midriff, which I don't think works for the picture. Now that doesn't for some, why doesn't that look like it to me? Maybe it still does. What if we just put the, the stripes in here? Maybe if there's fewer stripes. No. What if there's like little, I'm just trying to come up with other things, maybe like that.
No, that even looks more like exposed midriff. Why, why am I having such a problem with this area? enough. Okay, let's try this thing that I'm looking at actually in the picture I drew inspiration from. I'm gonna get rid of this. smaller ones of these. And then make this. So there's like another layer happening here. like a second layer of these underneath. like these little squares inside. We might as well go all the way with this. Yeah, and they're also on the other ones. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Okay. Now I just want to fix this thing because it's drooping down too far here. It looks like an untucked shirt. Great. Actually, I don't know what we need. Do we really need all that? Yeah, it kind of is conspicuous that there's no lines there. Maybe we'll just add a few of them. Oh, you know what's also conspicuous is that you can see part of the original outline.
great. See about adding a a face in there. One more try at this. So the eyes should be something like that. drawing like the underside of the the eye like this a little bit it's very hard to get this like this isn't how I would draw an eye at all but I'm trying to draw it the way that they would draw it and that's what's hard about it Yeah, something like that I think is pretty much how they would do it. something in a museum. Oh, well, that's a very high compliment. I appreciate that, Azir. Um, thank you. We're trying to, I don't necessarily want to, because I was thinking about like, what if I added kind of like weathering effects to it also, so it looked like an old piece of uh, uh, art or whatever, like Greek uh, pottery. But I think I will uh, skip that. Uh, and just kind of have it be like an illustration because it, what it eventually is is like an illustration for the book so I think we can you know kind of let it live as like a we're not tricking anybody you know we're not trying to fool them and uh, but yeah I appreciate it's very nice of you to say 
I kind of went on a tangent there. That's not really what you're talking about, but yeah, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, let's try and make the... This is a pretty like stylized look for the... for the male. We're still on this layer with her uh, face. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so we can merge that in. What is this? This is just a guide layer. I'm gonna fix this though. This is maybe an indication that this one is a little too long. This kind of looks like that S thing that everybody used to draw in uh, middle school. saying geez you can make it a new sideline illustrations for books yeah only when I only when I release them though <laughs> that's the, the caveat I release illustrations for my own books I like this pattern. This is a cool concept. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And we can kind of just do that all throughout. Um, a couple of these don't conform to the like language that I came up with. Where's this one?
Let's see if we can, hold on, we might be able to make this even more. It came out of here like this, and then it came out like this. And then it came out like not like that. No, I don't think there's a way to. I wanted to try and get it to go in both directions, but I don't think I can do that. So it's basically a repeating pattern of two. Oh wait, that's that's part of the other armor. We don't want that. I shouldn't be doing this in such a a reckless way. We should really be planning it out like that. Now, this can go, what, like this maybe? No, wait, like this? Yeah, something like that. No, wait, that's going in the same direction again. Oh, I see why, OK. So it's going to be here, and then here, yeah, yeah, yeah. this to go like this. Now if we zoom out, yeah, that looks really cool. That looks really good. OK. Good. So we can just keep making straight vertical lines, I guess. Love it. So we'll kind of match this shirt sleeve. It's not the same as the other one. I think it needs to go a little further like that. Yeah, 
her shoulders should be more like this though. Yeah, it's throwing me off the fact that I put this like layer in for the color because I'm trying to follow, like unconsciously following where I put the color and I didn't always make that very accurately. So this should be starting where this is. <clears throat> oh, is there watch Grapes of Wrath? Nice. I watched that a little uh, a little while ago. Really, really good movie. That's John Ford, right? He did the Grapes of Wrath movie. Yeah, I loved that. The the Okies with their like big vans that are packed up with all their stuff. Great uh, production design. Yeah, so this arm we're gonna have it be like less, you know, width because it's farther away, so that'll be kind of our our indication of how this works. to also just make a any armor I feel like um, for hers should probably have this sort of like edge to it gotta get better at using the iPad itself you can actually there's like shortcuts programmed into the app for the iPad that does like undos and it can switch your brush tool to an eraser uh -oh. eraser tool actually let's put this on another layer really quick I want this to kind of fold in, yeah, when it gets to the edge. That's right. To indicate that it actually goes behind her. The Soleil is looking pretty cool. All right, we spent basically this entire episode just making stuff for Penthesilea, and I, I like 
that. I, I like that her character is totally different art style than Achilles. I think this episode we've really highlighted the differences. I wanted it to be that like it's two clashing cultures, the Amazons versus the uh, Greeks, and that the arts, like the two cultures would have two different art styles. And I think that is communicated now more than it was at the beginning of the episode. Is there saying I love depictions of warrior women? Yeah, I was talking about that with the narration too, where it's like this chapter where Penthesilea comes in, like uh, she is like really uh, well depicted, I think. Like she's just like murdering everybody. Like it's this, it described the, the, the carnage that she causes and like the, the regality of her characters depicted very similar to the way that they talk about Achilles when he comes in and just like nobody can stand up to him and it's the same with Penthesilea like every single person that she comes up against uh, you know is getting like completely slain um, and that's pretty cool because yeah you don't really see that outside of Greek gods there's really no female characters that are also fighters or warriors or whatever um, or really depicted much at all other than like in very tragic roles okay so we want to save it number one next I say we work oh, let's make a little uh, color scheme thing so uh, let's say uh, Let's raise the size of the pencil a little bit. Horse armor. Clean up head. Um, there's a really great dust pattern in the, uh, oops in the this piece of artwork about because there actually exists a piece of famous artwork where Achilles fights Penthesilea and I based Achilles that design off of that artwork I didn't really use any of the concepts from Penthesilea's design because I didn't like the way that she looked in it um, but I, I sort of was inspired by Achilles one for this and uh, in that there's a really cool evocative piece of sort of like graphic art to depict the dust that's flying up on the side of the battlefield and I want to utilize that. Uh, other than this we're pretty much good. Um, let's make another layer uh, character specific. Let's make a thing. color variation we want. Um, background texture. Borders. Um, cool. We're getting there. So we have our little notes for next time. It's good to keep that kind of stuff. Uh, just so you know what you want. And I had written a couple notes about Penthesilea 
what do I have here? Could use a color scheme of ivory, ivory, silver, and gold. Oh, because I took from the text, her greaves are gold, her corslet is rainbow colored. I said maybe take liberty with this because I don't think that's going to work in this piece of artwork. Ivory and silver for her brand, but uh, her spear or her uh, whatever this is, spear thing, I'm going to make that color instead. We might make her hair gold. Maybe make horse armor, though it shouldn't look too fancy. So we'll see. I kind of wrote all that down, I guess. Yeah, I'm happy with today's episode. I want to see a before and after. I didn't really take a screenshot of the original sort of version of it. Good. Ladies and gents, that's going to do it for... Um, the episode this time. If you want to see more, then uh, don't forget to hit that follow button. If you want to see the uh, know about the audiobook project that I'm making this for, that it's called the Post Homerica, which is a ancient Greek story that takes place between the Iliad and the Odyssey. Uh, I'm making a releasing my own edition of the book with illustrations like this one, and also an audiobook on where there will be one illustration, which is the cover art. So I don't know if we'll use this one for that, but maybe. Um, if you want to find more details, I'll post in the chat, exclamation mark Troy. And uh, that'll get you a link to my narrator page on Audible, where I've already released two audiobooks. Although this one obviously is not out yet. So you can check that page when it is out, and you'll see the audiobook for yourself. Um, yeah, especially if you liked if you like watching the process or whatever, consider giving, uh, picking up the book and showing the support. And let me know what you think of the narration. But until then, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, and thanks for watching.